guys welcome back to the channel so in this video I'm going to do something a bit different um, I'll be talking about or I'll be showing you the best and the quickest and the easiest way to view and read EPUB files or books on your PC on your Windows PC right I've tried a lot of different book reader applications in the past and um, most of them just did not really work with me. I, I didn't like them for different reasons, but there was only one that I found out was actually the best, and I want to share that with you, and it's guess what? It's completely free. It will cost you nothing. It's a permanent license, and you can use it, but you only can use it on Windows PCs. You cannot use it on Mac. They don't have a Mac version or a MacBook version. They only have a Windows-supported version. They support Windows 10 and 7 and 8 and and all the previous versions, right? So let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So if you guys just, I mean, if, if you just simply um, look at different um, ebook uh, readers, you're gonna find out this one right here. You get all the different options, 20 different e, uh, EPUB readers or ebook readers, and there's many of them, and I tried the majority of them, and the majority of them, some of them are, you have to buy them, and some of them, like, they only allow you to open one or two books, and if you open something else, you have to buy it, you have to purchase it. And um, I tried ice cream uh, ebook reader for a while, and after a while, I just didn't like it. So each one has its own different nuances, but the one I really liked is the one which I'm going to share with you in this video here today. And um, uh, but uh, but like I said, a lot of these different they have they come in different options. And now because you have so so many different uh, book formats. You have PDF, you have EPUB, which is the Apple, uh, the Apple um, format for viewing re uh, books on your mobile iOS. And sometimes if you want to read it online, you can't. So you need a, 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 an app that actually can read EPUB formats, Mobi, uh, Digivu, and then you have FB2, Text, RTF, and so on. And then you have CBZ and CBR formats. All are different book formats. And also some of them are actually for reading like manuscripts or papers or research studies from universities. So they support these formats as well. So um, a lot of these, like for example, they come in, they, they support three formats and then you have to purchase or buy the full license to be able to support all the remaining formats. Um, AZW, so I guess this is Amazon, probably a Kindle, I'm not sure. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you which one I'm talking about, uh, which I'm, I'm currently using. And it's right here. Um, this is the one that I'm currently using. It's very easy to, re to, to, to use. It's completely free. You can open as many books as you want and store them as tabs. And you can always jump back to them to wherever, whichever one. And it, it will always remember which is the last page that you are on from each of the books when you last opened it, right? And so let's say I want to add a new book here. I'll just go to File, Open. And I've got all my different books stored up here somewhere. So let me just see where they are. So this is where I store all, stare, uh, uh, save all my books. So let's say. And I'll just open one here, and bam, it's here. The truth about SEO, how to survive online in a world for robots, demons, influencers, and spiders, right? And you can scroll here to the different pages. It has the bookmark value, uh, the bookmarks um, item, and uh, you'll be able to uh, go to specific page, last page. The only limitation of this is you cannot do direct annotations, right? It does not have direct annotations, so you can't like put markings, or highlight stuff if you, I mean, you can, I think you can highlight, you can highlight stuff if you want, it's only for reading. So normally what I do is I just open a notepad, a notepad or my Evernote and I'll just put notes specifically on pages which I, you know, I thought it was important or on a specific note which I thought that, that, that I want to go back to or a specific page. Um, but um, how to download it, you just go down here, it's, the link is right here. It's called Sumatra PDF Reader. I'll put a link in the description below in this video. So SumatraPDFreader.org and you can download the version that you want and um, 
um, if you want the specific version for Windows, if you, this will be the initial page that you're going to see. Um, and they'll tell you here if you want the Windows 10 and Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, it's the version 3.1.2. And you go to it here, and you just copy and paste the link, and you download them either in executable or a zip file format, and you just download and install it, and it will install right there in a flash. And it supports all these formats or book formats, PDF, EPUB, MOBI, CHM, XPS, DigiVoo, CBZ, and CBR Reader for Windows. And again, it only supports Windows PCs. It does not support MacBook, unfortunately. Uh, it is an, um, an open source version, so maybe they, they will come up with a, with a MacBook version uh, very soon. Right, and um, that's it. I just want to share you guys with you guys, and I hope you guys benefit from them. Just check it out. And let me know if you have any comments. In the next video, I'm going to show you the, the fastest and quickest way for you to load a book, an EPUB book, on your mobile. Uh, normally, you have to sync between your, um, let's say, your OneDrive or your Google Drive. But I'm going to show you a very quick way for you to be able to uh, load your actual book that you just purchased it or downloaded, not only from your mobile, but if you want, let's say, you saved a book on your PC and you bought it from any of the stores online or book publishers and you want to be able to load it on your mobile on your iOS app or um, on, your, on, on your iPad or on your iPhone what's the fastest way I'm going to show that to you in the next video all right thank you guys for watching and if you like this video hit the subscribe and like button and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks a lot